Hello everyone and welcome to a game development update for the Immemorial Order 2 Sisters of Darkness. I've had a few people asking me how the game's getting on and you know what's it looking like so I'm going to show you pretty much everything what I'm, where I'm up to in the game. Uh, we're doing the same as the first game so we're going to build the whole thing, all the scenes. I've got a, an idea for the story so we're going to build the whole both scenes and then we're going to start piecing together the story linking the scenes together and then we'll start scripting and doing tasks and objectives all that kind of stuff that comes later that's that's just the way i do it i don't know uh, if anyone else does it this way but i find it easier for me to build the scenes and then i can sort of do what i want to do for objective wise and stuff like that so yeah um yeah i've got these streets here the few shops and the lights flickering a bit because I've figured out that you can actually bake lighting into the textures which is a massive massive performance upgrade which I could do with the first game as well with the first game I've learned a lot since I was building this game is with the performance um, everything had a box collider so those windows the roof up there the guttering all that would have had box colliders in the first game which uses up quite a lot of resources if you use a lot of them whereas in this game it's literally just the wall so you can't the box collider stops the player from going anywhere it's just in the walls and the doors and so you're not going to go through the walls but you're never going to touch up there as the player oh yeah so um yeah there's a bit of the streets so yeah i could do a big performance up update on the first game and um yeah, I'll show you what else I've been doing. So I've actually started a new job now where I'm working four days on and four days off. So with the four days off, I can um, work on my game, which I built all this in pretty much four days or maybe like four days. And then I finished it off a couple of days ago. So probably about five days it took me to build all this. Um, yeah, so I'll show you around the flat. So come up here. Obviously, this could all change in the future. You know, I've oh, noticed I've got um, a shotgun as well <laughs> in my hand. So uh, yeah, I'm just messing about with this shotgun, and it could be in the game. It might not be. Uh, anything could change. So yeah, it's just kind of show you what I'm I'm building at the moment, and uh, yeah. So this is the flat. So you know, you can't touch any doors at the minute. You can't open them, close them. You just walk through them. In a minute, and there's nothing up through there. So yeah, all this will be, uh, you know, updated. We're still building it. So this is the kitchen. This was actually the first flat that I moved into when I moved out from my parents. I moved into this flat, which there was literally nothing here. Not even light bulbs when you moved in. No fridge freezer, no washing machine. There was just the kitchen cupboard, sink, toilet, bathroom. That was it. Everything else you had to bring in yourself. And um, yeah, this was my living room. I was a bit of a music studio producer, a music producer, so that was my little studio there. And I had my DJ decks on there, Xbox games, and I used to play Xbox One, Xbox 360 on this telly. Um, my old sofa, the big corner sofa, coffee table. Yeah. Uh, so this could be one of the first scenes in the game. Oh, the uh, landlord, one day I came home from work and they put... Uh, fire alarms in every single room and the shower when you have a shower the steam set that off which was so annoying because it was an old school like old like really old ringy fire alarm which was behind that wall there in the hallway and the people upstairs used to smoke the people downstairs used to smoke and they used to set them off all the time so oh no i've got me um i've got a red error message there because I've not got a script for my light switch there, and uh, yeah, my, yeah, um, it's missing. My uh, action display thing is missing from the script, which I've not. I've just been uh, messing about with it. It's not really scripted yet, so yeah, don't look at the light switch at the moment until uh, we're all scripted up. So yeah, little bathroom. I've got no floor in it yet. Well, I've got a floor, but it's not. You know, it's just a default flooring texture and it's the bedroom so this could be uh, one of the first scenes in the game maybe I'm not really sure 
But um, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm up to with this bit. Uh, what else can I show you? Let's have a look. So this is the uh, disclaimer screen, which was in the first game and in the uh, Immemorial Order VHS. So I could change this. This, like I say, everything could anything could change. But I've got a little jingle now to to play when you see the logo. Oh yeah, quite like that. Uh, yeah, you got disclaimers and all that kind of stuff. But because uh, it's on real locations, but it's the story's just you know it's not based on true events sort of thing um, but I can show you title screen so this is an idea for the title screen it could change bit of mist and obviously can't press anything yet no one knows their faces no one knows their names they break the rules of society playing dangerous games manipulation deception they're masters of their So yeah, that's the title screen. Um, no scripts on it at the minute, so that's as far as you can go. Straight to the title screen. Um, yeah, that's that's the title screen. Okay, so we're back in the flat for now. And... Oh, it's a little bit different. This is the scene that I'm currently working on. I've got my flashlight. So... Um, yeah, just kind of, there's nothing down there at the minute. Yeah, this is going to be uh, the break room at, at the work that you do in the game. Yeah, you can walk through everything, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> nothing much to show on that bit really, that's kind of what I'm working on. Um, but I want to show you this, how cool this little thing is that I've done. Let me get there in a second. I've just uh, added this pathway in just to get over here. So we get in here, and this is going to be kind of your job that you're going to be doing, working in the warehouse. Uh, this is going to be like the little office, but you're not going to be in the office, you're going to be in the warehouse bit. Um, yeah, I want to show you. what I've been there uh, so I've got some random curtains in here and plastic curtains and some more curtains so I've been working uh, well playing about with this thing called magic the magica or something you kind of apply it to curtains and then you can have um, there's points on it where you can have them fixed or if you got a little uh, thing on your player so on the my player's head you can't see it but there's like a collision detection thing with a the curtains and stuff but I'll show you what it does so if you touch the curtains they do a little bit of a jiggle the jiggly curtains which looks really cool so if you walk past them it looks really cool and it works with these as well which when I figured it out I was like oh that is amazing because I've always wondered how like if you play Emika games and was it September the 7th with the um, ghost when you walk up to the ghost it falls down and the physics I thought he can't have animated that there's no way uh, clean the living room whoa what are you doing over there hello whoa that was cool but yeah that's kind of uh, a little cool trick the magica thing I think it's called I can't remember the name of it but yeah it works on the curtains it's really cool a really cool effect. It goes automatically if you get. Oh, oh no, it's stuck. Oh, and it's gone. 
<laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, I really like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I don't want to give too much of the story away, but yeah, these are kind of the scenes that are going to be in it. And I'll show you one last thing. Oh, just before we go, I just wanted to show you this one thing. So the the uh, green circle and cross is the uh, collision thing on the character. So the character can't see it, but that's what it looks like. From the uh, other, another point of view, which is really cool. Yeah, I really like that effect. It looks so cool. But yeah, let's uh, move on. Okay, so if we have a wonder up here, you can see a big castle. And this is an example of what the, um, the lighting, if you bake the lighting into the textures, it is a massive, did I say that in the, I can't remember if I said that, but uh, in the first game, I didn't bake any of the lighting and in this game I um it it's a massive performance boost um if you bake the lighting in the texture so there's no lighting effects in this scene at all it's all baked there's, well there's a couple where the torches are on the there's like four lighting effects in this scene that's it all these are baked into the into the um textures of the floor and the trees and stuff but it takes a long time to do but it is worth it um but yeah, coming up to the castle now. So I could do that. I could do a massive performance update on the Immemorial Order first game. Um, yeah, so this is the castle. I'm not sure if you're going to... Well, like I say, I don't know with the store. I'm not sure if the player's going to be uh, you know, wandering up here. I don't know. don't know at this moment. I've got an ice cream van. Because the... Uh, the Royal Immemorial Order of Ophidia like their ice creams. So yeah, um, can walk around here. A bit more of the the castle around there. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to show you. Apart from we're going to go inside. I'll show you a little bit of a teaser of what the inside looks like because I've built all inside as well, but I don't want to give it away. The whole thing because um yeah we'll we'll go in there so uh yeah i've taken the um doors but yeah this is kind of the main entrance and i haven't baked any lighting inside yet because uh, i'm still working on this scene but uh yeah i'm not gonna go too much further but you can walk around you can go upstairs there's uh a few different rooms in this place that are built but it's not finished and um, I don't want to give it away too much just yet because there are some character models down there that uh, you could just see but uh, yeah I won't give it away just yet um, but yeah if you've got any questions about the game or you want to know anything more or you want uh, you've got ideas that you think might be quite good um, look how big these chairs are. See, the character's not even the right size. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, we, we're cracking on with it now, so I'm, you know, I'm spending a lot of time doing it. Um, sorry it's been so long since I've done an update, but I will do... If you want another one, I'll do another one, but I'm just focusing on uh, getting the game finished. Pretty much getting a demo out soon i think probably well we're a bit far off for a demo might be a few months away yet maybe for halloween october maybe what are we in july yeah could possibly but we'll see we'll just we'll see how it goes once the game is built and then we start scripting stuff it should come together pretty quickly but, but you know there's a lot of stuff that could be added and you know there's a lot of lots of bits and bobs to sort out but yeah um that's all i've got for now so thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.